Hey guys, today I am going to talk about Jeff Wilson, sports card investor. He recently tweeted something that Sports Card Radio shared. And it's just the reality of the sports card market. Many of these very expensive cards and many of the very cheap cards. I was actually talking to a guy on Facebook today. And we were looking at his collection and he had spent $10,000 on retail. And probably best guess maybe there's one thousand two thousand dollars at most but that's pure you know retail you still have to sell it you still have to put on ebay you still have to ship it all told probably if you open ten thousand packs of retail today which uh, was two months ago you're probably out 95 percent 97 percent of your money if you wanted to do a quicker sale now Jeff will try to hide these facts. Um, it's not just the retail side that it's doing very poorly. It's also these expensive cards. People always say, well, the expensive cards can do well. That is not always true. Um, the specific post that he was referring to was this post by um, about a Patrick Mahomes. And it is the exact same card, exact same patch. Uh, one day it sold for four hundred and eighty thousand dollars, and then another day it sold for two hundred and thirty-one thousand dollars, which is today. So beautiful. I mean, it's a beautiful card, but just to hold the card for a year and lose that much money is uh, quite impressive. I mean, it's you know, it, there there's nothing uh, in the market that is. I mean, when you that this is a this is the top of the top line in terms of cards and collectibles, holy grails, and for something to, like that to lose money, now you're talking about serialized number autographs and parallels, and you know I mean, you know I opened a bunch of sports cards retail too because I own a card shop, and I can tell you, man, you're just getting slaughtered. Uh, you are lambs to the slaughter, right? I do feel like that he is over um you know when times are good and you're talking about good things right yeah people are very very happy to talk to you um when you're talking about bad things um then people are upset uh, but the negativity is really really obvious in my personal opinion uh the negativity is pretty much due to the fact that many people have lost money and it's, it's okay to lose money, right? Like, it is okay to lose money. Um, but let's not kind of hide the fact that investing in sports cards or magic cards or Pokemon cards or whatever type of card you want to invest in has not been exactly the best way to make money. The S&P 500, a 5% CD would have been better. And it wasn't really... A, people have lost a lot of money doing this. And those people, I've talked to them. Uh, maybe we'll do a live stream on my other channel, um, Lust, because I think that would be interesting. I'm trying to get them into sports cards. They're into Rolexes and APs and all that good stuff. Um, I think it's an interesting topic. It, it really, it truly is an interesting topic to talk about because um, they're not used to dealing with all this negativity. And now they, it's like in front of them. It's right in front of their face. I can tell you this channel is doing the best best it's ever done uh, we get more views more subscribers we're made five hundred dollars this month right which is a lot previous months we were making about like 20 to 50 dollars and we'll probably get a nice fat paycheck from the other channel as well um probably uh, that channel is just crushing it at the moment in time so uh yeah let's not kind of uh, sugarcoat this i think uh there's no reason to sugarcoat it um i believe that in terms of the cards going down in price they go down in price that's just the reality of it a card that was eight hundred thousand or whatever half a million sold for less half than that it's not a reason to celebrate and nobody's celebrating but we're looking at this as lost porn which is something that people like enjoy i mean wall street bets you know, wall street bets used to be a forum where people posted their gains now it's a forum where people posted their losses you know, I mean, you can't make this stuff up, but it is it is what it is, right? I mean, I, I'll be honest with you. Some of it is kind of interesting to look at. And people love to take other people, take L's, right? Um, 
I do think that um, I do think that I um, am very I'm very intrigued in the fact that people are still trying to protect the market. The market is not worth protecting, in my opinion. It's just a market. It does what it does. And at the end of the day, um, whatever can happen, can, can happen. So, yeah, people are taking losses left and right. So my advice would be if you cannot afford it, and a lot of people I talk to, they can't afford it. They just simply cannot afford to take these else in the face because this is their homeowners association fee which is due this is their taxes their you know i don't have a mortgage so i have to pay a shit ton of taxes at the end of every year um i think if you have a mortgage maybe mortgage pays it for you i don't know i've had not had a mortgage in many many years probably five six years now um yeah there's a lot of bills christmas travel you know like for me my girlfriend and i are traveling quite a bit now and, um, you know, it costs money to travel. It costs money to go see things and have nice dinners and, you know, go to different attractions. Uh, it's, you know, we even play Pokemon Go in different cities and stuff. I think this week we're traveling to San Antonio because it's a place we haven't been to. Um, so, therefore, we can spend those Pokestops uh, for a Friday. And it's, uh, it, again, it's one of these things that I can tell you. That the last thing people are thinking about right now is, hey, let's uh, buy some more cards or what the card prices are. Um, again, um, do I feel bad? Uh, do I feel upset about that? No, I, I would definitely say that in terms of me losing money in cards, it was an interesting experience. I, I learned a lot from it. And that's all you can really hope. Uh, to learn is you know hey I lost a bunch of money but let me not pretend not let me not put more money let me not use good money to chase bad money and let me learn from that experience I don't think these cards are a good investment uh, I think that a lot of people who are saying that they are good investments or don't want to look at the losses which there clearly are I mean it's Patrick Mahomes I mean he is the darling of uh he's the darling man I mean he is the eight kid right now. Um, I think in terms of um, where people are and what, how much people are putting into this stuff, and you know all all this uh, good stuff, right? Um, yeah. Be careful, guys. Be careful of your money because there's a lot better things to buy than cards. And most of these things that are better to buy than cards are related to um, family and friends and loved ones, right? Bye, guys.